ovation live and direct from Fort Washington with uh, Jesse James Martin, who's working on a ton of new music. Check that shit out. But right now I'm here to talk about my new release, uh, New York State of Mind. Jesse and I got some fucking Starbucks and we're about to uh, go over the release and, and what's in it. So this is it. This is New York State of Mind. Finally pressed, long time in the making, worked with a ton of different people. I, I put a booklet in it and everything, man. So it's very professional. I have, you know, shout outs in there. And who produced what and all that, because I'm into that. I kind of don't like the fact that nowadays everything you just go on iTunes, you don't really get a chance to really see what work went into stuff. But nonetheless, you can get the album on iTunes or you can go to uh, officialelevation.bigcartel.com and get this. So anyway, as I drink my uh, fine Harbucks beverage here, I'm gonna tell you about every song and who was featured, who produced what. So the first track is the intro. And the intro kind of sums up who I am and how long I've been doing this. Uh, the first verse you hear me spit on there is, they expect less from me incessantly and can't accept what I see as being manifest destiny destined to be a force you underestimated me I admit it's been too long so thanks for waiting patiently for those who don't know me I've been doing this since 05 on again off again rock shows and gotten live sold shirts with my name dropped tracks and mixtapes along the way made mistakes but now I'm raising the stakes and that sums up who I am what I've done uh, the track is produced by Industry Rejects, and uh, you know I like to talk about different things in my music, but I feel like for a lot of people, this album is kind of an introduction as to who I am. So that's how I wanted to spark it off. Track two, track two is Car Chase, featuring my boy Jay Panesso from the group Siler, and he killed it. He did some awesome streaming on there, and I wanted to incorporate that because I'm personally a kid from Long Island. I love hardcore. I go to hardcore shows, so I wanted to incorporate that element. Uh, as to who I am into my music, and that's why I threw them on there. It's produced by Smoke from uh, Shadowville Productions. It's got a lot of sick wordplay in there. A lot of, a lot of songs. Uh, I mean, uh, sorry, a lot of words and uh, you know lines with stuff that you won't necessarily get right away. You might have to listen a few times and you know, pick up on references because that's the type of music I like. I'm very inspired by people like Vortex who drop really ill, um, just metaphors and lines that you're not gonna get right away. So that's that's where that came from. Three, track three is Violence, and it's produced by Sean Strange, who's one of the illest producers in the game. I've known Sean for a while now before anybody really knew him. He was working with Mr. Hyde from Psychological. And I shouldn't say people, that people knew him, but now he's gone on to much bigger and greater things. He's on the new Snow Goons, uh, he's touring Europe, he's working on an album with PMD. So he's doing very big things, and luckily he blessed, blessed me with a beat on uh, New York State of Mind. And my boy Fetus is on there. Fetus is in the group Akvon with Psycho Jesus, who many of you may, might have, never, uh, may have heard of. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, he killed it. He did actually a really melodic hook. You know, you might know him for his rapping, but that dude could actually sing and, and do some like bone thugs and harmony sounding shit. So I think that shit came out dope. A lot of people seem to be saying that's their favorite track on the album. Uh, I like it a lot. Track four. Track four is They Don't Know Me, and it's produced by someone very special to me. It's my boy Tyler, who, uh, if you're in the hardcore scene, you know him from My Bitter End and Dr. Akula, but he also produces beats. He's worked with Scram Jones and all types of people, and uh, I was like, yo, let me hear what you got. So I had him send me a beat. I thought he killed it, and uh, you know, I actually put down my track on there a while uh, back. I really liked the way it came back. I went back to it, and that's the version you'll hear on the album. Uh, it's a little bit more, uh, you know, hook-driven, and I think the shit came out. Track five. I'm, I'm thinking all this in my head right now. Track five is uh, "It's Not Over," featuring B Easy. from the group Untouched. I went to high school with that dude. I've known him since like middle school and shit. He was always writing and we were always in creative writing classes together and shit. And uh, I knew he rapped, man, and I heard his shit and I thought he was dope, so I was like, you wanna put something down. He was he was with it, so he killed it, man, and uh, Johnny Giuliano produced the track. It's, it's a quick track, it's kind of a fun track, and uh, I like the way that shit came out, so check it out. On to the last track. The last track is very dope to me because it was uh, produced by John Burns. 
did all of the mixing on the album, recorded everything. He did all the live guitars on the album, and Burns is one of the sickest fucking guitarists you'll ever fucking hear. He, uh, he dropped some dope solos on there, and uh, yeah, man, he, he also performs just in all different types of groups and stuff. I know he works with like Jesse's brother, who's filming this right now, uh, doing all types of stuff. So it's, it was actually cool. I, I saw him a while back, and I had no idea he had any interest in doing beats or anything related to hip hop. And when he played me his shit, I was like, this is kind of dope, and we've been working together ever since. So that's the whole album. Once again, cop that shit, officialelevation.bigcartel.com, or you can go on iTunes, look up Elevation New York State of Mind, and that's fucking everything, man. Cop that shit.